All right, uh, moving on to a very interesting storyline, which many Americans and just people throughout the world have followed throughout the last maybe six months, maybe less. Uh, Taylor Sander switching to the beach. So if you didn't know about this already, Taylor Sander was supposed to go back to Skra Belkatov in Poland this year, where he played last year. But he cut off his contract with Skra, and him and his family basically cut off all communication with the club. And the club is not happy about this because they had to scramble to find a last-minute, like, good outside hitter replacement for one of the best players in the world after the transfer window had pretty much already closed. So he kind of hung Scry out to dry. Um, Sander and his wife just gave birth to their second child. So congratulations to them. I think that there's a lot of family pull back to the U S and not wanting to live the overseas lifestyle anymore has something to do with all this. Um, But from a volleyball sense, uh, Sander has at least for now started the move to the beach and he's teaming up with fellow person named Taylor, Taylor Crab, um, which is interesting because like Crab, his story is well documented, um, has been playing with Jake Gibb for the last several years. Gibb retired after the Olympics this summer, is well into his 40s, so that made a lot of sense. So Crab choosing to try and pick up Taylor Sander. Uh, Taylor Sander is not probably big enough to be an elite level sand blocker, in my opinion. Not that I know all that much about beach volleyball, but that's been the biggest like question mark so far. But those two guys are making their that. debut together, um, I think, tomorrow in Brazil. So if you're a beach volleyball fan, um, that Itapema Brazil tournament kicks off tomorrow, and you'll get your first look at Taylor Sander on the beach. Where do you want to start with this? Do you want to start on, on the, the beach side of things, or do you want to start... like I, I think... Like for for me, I I want to start with the contract negotiations with Scraw. I agree, and, and I, I to be honest, it, I don't care that much about beach volleyball nearly as much as I like indoor. Um, I'm mostly just annoyed and upset at the loss potentially of Taylor Sandor Taylor Sander in the indoor game. That's my bigger takeaway. Here's here's my I, I have a few takeaways. First and foremost, part of me, one half of me is just like, yeah, this sucks for Scraw. You know, you are one of the biggest clubs in the world and you are spending money on arguably the best, if not one of the, the one of the best, if not the best, you know, left side hitters in, in the world. Okay, maybe not the best because there's there's a few guys above him, but arguably one top of, five. One, he's he's a top five for sure. Definitely a top ten. Um, and, you, you, you know, you're spending that money and, and it's it's putting you in a tough spot. However, you know. Maybe not for Scraw specifically, but this is something that does happen quite a bit on the other way. You know, like you as a player, I'm going to go to this team and, you know, I'm going to go there and they're just not going to play me, you know, or they're going to end my contract ra- randomly, right? So I-, I like to see it that, you know, maybe this time it's it's the, the, the people with money, the, the people like the, the team to get screwed over and not necessarily the athlete. I mean, I think we both know guys, maybe not at that level. But I think, well, actually, you know, I definitely know guys who have gone to, to Poland and not gotten paid, you know? Yeah, so that's a good point. It, 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 it's, it, it's kind of, to me, I kind of see both sides of it. What I kind of want to point out is that how precarious is the world of indoor volleyball? The fact that we one of our top players playing for one of the top clubs, one of the most historic clubs in all of European volleyball, can't is, isn't persuaded to stay there and he's completely opting to go up and and, and like up, uproot his family, go back home, be there and play in what people are viewed as a lot less stable life of beach volleyball. Right. But the, the, the reality is, is that how, what's his contract in Scraw? How, how much is, is he making? You know, he can't be making more than like, I, I think a 300,000 euro contract for him would be maybe insane. You know, I, I don't think he's he's going to be making that in Poland. Maybe someone in the chat or, or someone in the Discord is going, is going to be able to know. But, like, your quality of life as an indoor volleyball player sucks. There's no other way to say it. That's right? well you're, you're known. Gonna, you're, and you're, yes, you're, playing, you're playing for low six figures in, you know, maybe situations where that what you had as amenities as a, a college athlete is going to be a lot less once you become a pro athlete. And you never get an offseason. Right. You go from Champions League to club to country cup to national team. Half the time you're spending for the national team, you're not getting paid for that. Right. 
right? Yeah, you get paid for some uh, Nations League wins and stuff like that, but it's not to the same level as, as other guys. So why not move back to the States? Why not go live in, uh, on California on the beach? You get an off season, right? You get sponsors. Uh, being a, a professional on the AVP tour is probably a lo- much more legitimate than any other country has because the, it's a national tour that actually pays, maybe Germany, Brazil as well, of course. But uh, I, I think it just shows how fragile and for so long people have been like, oh, you know, indoor is more stable. You're going to go make money on indoor. But I, now that I think that's starting to change a little bit on, on the upper end, right? Because you're telling me that t- a team of Taylor Sander and Taylor Crab can't get a lot of sponsors, right? Aren't going to go out there and going to be able to make money on the AVP tour, make money on the FIVB World Tour. No, it's, 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 I'm not going to say it's going to be cake, but like they're going to be able to do it, you know? I think they yes. will be able to do it. So my, my biggest takeaway, and I said this on my podcast, uh, The Deep Corner on the VLS platforms a couple of weeks ago, like my biggest takeaway is that USA Volleyball or some entity in the US or Canada or North America at large um, needs to give players an opportunity to play in the States and make legitimate money. If, if that was an opportunity for Taylor Sander, oh, awesome. there, would, there, would be, there would be no problems with him continuing his indoor career. If he could stay anywhere remotely close to home and play at a decently high level, even for a little less money, uh, he would take that. And I've, I've, I've talked to and heard from so many players who would take a huge pay cut if it meant they could stay in the States and still play. So um, that is a factor of this conversation as well. I guess we'll just kind of see how it goes for the the Taylor pairing of Crab and Sander. I'm, I'm I'm just curious to watch and see how, how they adjust on the beach court. Um, but I'm more interested in following what is what's next what's next summer going to be like for the u.s men's national team in a world championship year are they going to get taylor sander back indoors and if not what are they going to do about that so i'm sure this is not the last time we'll talk about this on the show no i i I don't think so easy i think i i either i think this is going to be an ongoing conversation even if he doesn't go back there's always going to be that conversation of of can he go back can he go back to 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 the indoor side especially especially with a, a player like that you know He's but, so I mean, good. He can always. It's not like it'll take him long to adjust back to elite no, competition. It's abso- ab- absolutely so not. Right. So good. So maybe 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 we'll see what what the indoor season has 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 to come with us. Because I mean, it's easy to say, hey, right now I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to go train. Blah blah blah. Stay in shape. But then you know maybe he pulls a Jordan, a Michael Jordan, and, and moves from the White Sox <laughs> to the Bulls. Um, you know, yeah, from, just the, from posts I'm back on Instagram. <laughs> I yeah, exactly. That. A picture, a picture of his shoes and some knee pads on the on the the gym floor. Just I'm back. I can picture it now. 